Breaking news tonight at 6. A cobra on the loose in Lee County has been captured. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Rose. And I'm Brittany Weiner. It was a frightening Saturday afternoon for neighbors in the Buckingham area as this snake roamed free. Very scary. NBC2's Chris Gilmore is live in the neighborhood now where the five-foot venomous snake was last seen. Chris, officials picked it up when the, within the last hour or so. That's right, Joe. I'm here in Buckingham where the Cobra was actually seen just beyond this stretch of woods here along Stratton Road. Now, after this afternoon, a call came in from just beyond Kitty Hawk Drive here behind me. Somebody spotted the Cobra crossing the road, which prompted the capture. Just over 24 hours of uneasiness for the residents of this Buckingham neighborhood. They don't even want to go outside. They're scared to go outside because they're afraid that they're going to get bit and it's going to kill them. A cobra was discovered missing from this house by Florida Fish and Wildlife. It's scary now to now know that they breed exotic venomous snakes. Neighbors are upset. The owners didn't immediately report their venomous five foot long <laughs> snake had escaped. I was livid. I have four kids. I have a dog and I don't want him to come outside. I don't know what's going to happen. He no. has a permit to have the snake. He doesn't have a permit to let the snake go. FWC officers credit neighbors who called in sightings of the potentially deadly snake. After we actually caught it was when the reality set in that we had just snagged this cobra, a uh, possibly deadly snake. While residents are breathing a sigh of relief, they're still not happy with the cobra owners. I think you should go to jail for it. I think you should be fined very highly. I mean, there, there's people's lives at stake. Well, it's been just hours after that cobra went missing. A Twitter account was started in honor of that deadly snake. It's called FM Cobra. Check out some tweets after the snake was caught. This was posted. It says, you win this time, FWC, but I outsmarted the guy once. It probably won't be too hard to do it again. And then another tweet saying, can't believe FWC hasn't taken my phone yet probably won't get past the pat down. It's unknown right now who is actually behind this account, but 50 people, including myself, actually followed this account in the few hours it's been active.